Oh, you know, honestly, if anybody from Fremont will tell you, I'm not really big on awards, um, whether it's MVP awards or all term awards or, you know, when kids score a thousand points at Fairmont State, we don't stop the game. You know, we expect people to score a thousand points at different times and, um, you know, it's a team game. At the same time, um, Ashley is, is a special player. I've said it all along, she's one of the best players I've ever coached in 29 years, 19 years in men's basketball and 10 in women's basketball. Um, they just don't come along very often like her. You know, we were fortunate we had one like her about four or five years ago in Kristen Gattuso, and we've had a couple since, but Ashley's a special, special person. <laughs> Rachel, how about your performance today? Um, I knew I had a step up big with the rebounding, and I had to focus mentally um, finishing my, all my layups, and I thought I did a decent job doing that. And <laughs> the defense, too, was big, really big, so just tried to not follow as much when I go up to block the shots. <laughs> Girls, how about her play? I mean, Rach, there was a period early on when she was just doing some unbelievable things, really dominated the game and paid for it. Yeah, I just saw it <laughs> uh, We really needed her to step up tonight because West Lib does have good post play, and we need her to be there and get rebounds. A lot of times with the other four of us are guards, and we're not used to getting every dime as much as she is. So we really need her to play, she played really, really well. She did a good job uh, screening the ball and then rolling. Mm -hmm. And she was definitely our go-to person in the post. So we were able to have faith in her and give it to her and know that she was going to get it done for us. Mo, well, how about your play there? I don't know, you were like strap on Hoosiers there in overtime. <laughs> <laughs> just took the game right to him, six straight points. I don't know if you've ever seen Hoosiers, but. I have, but I don't remember the part. <laughs> <laughs> but you're playing overtime early. Six straight points, six straight field goals just by taking the ball aggressively to the hole. I was just trying to help. If someone was open on the dish and I was ready to pass it, and I had um, Tori Hansen's a really good player. She had four fouls, and I knew she wasn't going to guard me as tightly as she usually would. And so I was really trying to get her fifth foul called on her, and she kind of laid off me. So that helped a lot. In Ash, in typical Ashley Babbitt fashion, 13 points in the final minute, 44 of regulation, and overtime combined. Four free throws down the stretch in overtime, tie the game, four free throws in overtime in the last 22 seconds to seal it. I just think in the last couple minutes, I was really trying to focus. Um, this free throws are kind of tough when the game's on the line, and I was really focused. I thought you all, with Caitlin out of the lineup and battling foul trouble all night, you know, all you guys stepped up and, and played big. And you knew you had to, because she's done a great job for Fairmont throughout this whole tournament. She did. She played so well yesterday. It was kind of scary when she fought out, but I think everyone stepped up. It wasn't. It didn't hurt us at all. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> 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 you got to agree with that, too. I know it's frustrating. Oh, they stepped up big time. You know, it was fun watching them on the bench the whole time. The, you know, in overtime and with like three minutes left, however many left, minutes left, and I fouled out with like three. One fifty-eight rate. Right? Okay. Um, yeah, that was exciting. I was proud of you three. That you guys stepped up big, Rachel, 21 rebounds. Mm -hmm. Ashley did not get 13 points within. Just a couple of minutes. Yeah, Mo with six points in a row. You can't ask for anything <coughs> more than that. They played great. How good does this title feel, Ashley? Mo, you're second. <coughs> you guys are first. It's great to get a second, but I think it's better this time around. Getting in your senior year, and we contributed a lot more, I think, than sophomore year. Yeah. To it. Definitely being able to contribute and have a bigger part in the win was. A lot more exciting. Not that my sophomore year wasn't exciting, but this definitely was. Cherry on top of a great senior season. Steve, uh, Lynn Allen just told us this is the worst defensive team he's ever coached. His team. You put it three times, and is there anything that suggests that's true from what you saw? Um, he knows his team a lot better than I do, so I'll let Lynn comment on his own team. <laughs> 
Kaylin, what was it like sitting on the bench, you know, when, when all that was going on over the last few minutes of the game, overtime, and you really couldn't affect the outcome? It was tough. You know, I wanted to be out there really bad. Um, but like I said, I had faith in my team. I could see us coming back gradually. When she hit the foul shot, I think of tied like a 60-60, and then, you know, went to overtime, and Mo set up big for us. Rachel with the rebound. Lauren Gilbert playing really aggressive. Um, it was tough, but you know I was just sitting there cheering my team. One, only thing I really could do.